Hi, it's Sandra from Sandra Day Imagery and I'm going to share with you this quick tip video using the smudge tool which is following up from my recent blog which is on my website where I explained where I use the smudge tool in my composite imagery. I don't use it all the time, it's just one technique that's in the toolbox that I'll go to if I need. Now this is the background that I started with and it's one of my background textured overlays that's available in my shop. And I love the softness. I've done a, a little bit of what I call zhushing up and put some texture over it. And I'll use this as the background to create an image. So I'm just going to turn on the layers and explain what I've actually done. Layer one, I've duplicated the layer. But now I want to add in my element, which is this little girl. I am fond of her. She's digital art and um, it's got a little bit of a harshness to the edge when I sit it on the background. And so I'm going to show you how I use the smudge tool just to soften that edge. But before I do that, one of the things that I want to do is to get her standing or look like she's standing in that grass. And so what I've done is some masking with a Photoshop brush now I'll zoom up and I'll disable the mask and you can actually see that's how she's standing there. And I don't want that, I want her blending in with the foreground. I'll enable the mask and you can see now she's just sitting in there. Now I've done that quick, uh, little bit of a quick brush work, but when you're doing something like this, it pays to just take time when you're brushing away or bringing that foreground to hide the element. Now, when I look at her, I think she's looking quite contrasty to the background. My background has got soft color tones, so I want to match her with that background. Now, there's many techniques to do this, but the one that I'll use and what I like is using the, what I call color toning technique, or it's in your filter blur average. And this technique is on my website under the free Photoshop tutorials. I'm going to turn that layer on and you can see now, if I look at this layer here, I didn't pick that color, Photoshop did. It worked out the average colors within that image and that's what it's come up with. Great little technique to use when you're wanting to blend some of your elements into your background. So now I'll zoom up and I look and the edge is just, it's a little bit sharp. So what I'm going to do is do a merge layer and I'll click on layer two and the shortcut key is Control Alt Shift E or Command Alt Shift E if you're on a Mac. Now what I want to do is use the smudge tool. And so I'll come to my toolbar and you'll see that there's this little icon, it's called the smudge tool. Now, if you can't see that in your toolbar, just in my blog, it shows you how you then can load this tool up into your toolbar. Because I, I couldn't find it when I wanted to use it, so I had to do the same thing. So I'll click on the smudge tool, and there's a couple of little tips for you. We'll just come up. I like to have sample all layers ticked, so it's sampling all the layers underneath. The strength, I've got at 16% now, but I'm going to change it up to 100% and give you an idea of how the smudge tool works. So what I'm gonna do is brush along the edge in here and can you see it is distorting those pixels and we don't want that. And the reason is because I've got it at 100%. So this is where you play on your strength. Now I had it roughly about 16. I'll just put it up to 19 a little bit so that you can actually see. So I tend to zoom in when I use this technique so that I can actually see what I'm working on. Now what I'm going to do is make my brush smaller because I don't want it too big. And when I'm using the smudge tool and I'm going along the edges, I try and get that circle half onto the digital art or the element and half onto the background. Now, 
I can use other brushes for this, but I'm going to use just the smudge tool brush. So as I come down, I'll just go down the edges and I do it in very small increments. I stop and then I start again and then I'll just brush down those edges. Now, that 19% could be a little bit too much strength for it. This is where you'd play. Probably for something like this, I'd sit around about 16, 14. So let's come up here and have a look at just the shoulder here. It's a little bit too edgy. And so I'll just brush and I get there and I stop. Now let's zoom out and have a look. And I'll turn that layer off. And when you turn it off, you go, I, I can't see any changes, but I'm going to zoom up. And if I turn that layer off and on, you can see there's a subtle little change to the edging. And that's what I find the smudge tool works for me when I've got some of these hard, um, what I call hard edged cutouts. So let's break down the layers again. I'm going to turn all the layers off. I started with my background, one of my textured background overlays, duplicated the layer. I added my little girl in. I did some masking so that she blends into that foreground. I did the technique called color toning, which then matches or tones her into the background. I did a pixelated layer and I actually then used my smudge tool. Now, when I'm doing this, I might name this layer and I'll just call it smudged or layer. Totally up to you. Let's have a look at my finished image. And there she is sitting into that beautiful foreground. I've added in a cage, which I've done some masking at the bottom there. So it hides the base of the cage. I've actually, for whatever reason, put a little cup and a bird with a rope. It's a whimsical image, but I've done the same technique using a smudge tool around the cup just to soften that. The smudge tool is an underrated tool. There's a lot more that you can do with it. But the one technique that I use to blend my hard edged cutout elements into the background, particularly if it's soft, is I use the smudge tool. Make sure that you play with your strengths. You don't want to have it up too high. And I find sample all layers works for me. Sometimes they say not to do that. But for me, I just like brushing that edging of this little girl to soften those edges. Have fun with the smudge tool. Experiment and see what you can create.